Wow, they just threw it in here and it looks like junk. Hey, it's Nazara with Nazara's Fine Crafts and today I have a couple uh, things I need to get sent out so I figured I'd do a video on packaging my items and sending them out. So if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. And let's go ahead and get into the products that I use. So I have here just kind of a general layout of the things that you might use. So you have stuffing papers. I'm in the habit of keeping things and reusing them uh, if it comes in a box and it's perfectly decent, nice, not wet or anything like that or dirty, I will reuse it to stuff other boxes. You need your product, of course, right here. Somebody ordered my sunflower rug, or my sunflower rug, <laughs> my little sunflower dress. And then over here, we have a couple masks that need to be sent out. So first and first, you have packing paper, that kind of thing. And then, of course, you need boxes. I do priority. I also do first class and stuff like that. So I have a lot of boxes that just are not priority that I will send out with as well. I will link the priority. These are free boxes. These over here are free boxes that you can get through the postal service. So I will link that below in the description so that you can find out where to get it. You can get them in all kinds of sizes, which I need to because my stuff is crochet. It's never the same size uh, unless I'm just making the same thing over and over again. So, and then I have for the masks. Okay, so for the sunflower dress, I'm using the box. For the mask, I am just using brown paper. They will be wrapped in tissue paper as well and they will also be wrapped in a plastic bag that I will show you. So I have these like cellophane plastic bags that I put them in. It gives a little bit more of a waterproof um, waterproofness to it. As well as you can see that the sunflower dress is already in a bag. So that is a 9 by 12 inch moisture and mildew resistant. So you can get a bag of like 100 on Amazon. I am not affiliated nor sponsored with any of these companies. So these are all things that I just have for my business. I will link the bags though, the cellophane bags, in a link down below. You will need scissors of course. You will need packing tape. I like to add these cute little things like thank you stickers. I will add those in the description below. And nice little touches like washi tape even. So these I all got on clearance either at Joann's, Michael's, or Hobby Lobby. I use tissue paper. I have cards. Uh, I make up generalized ones for things that I sell a lot like the masks. So it just tells 100% cotton, it has a metal insert for crimping, has machine wash and dry on high heat. Do not microwave because there is a metal piece in there as well as these masks really don't stand up to the microwave that well. It has my, my phone number and my email address as well as it says that I have links on Instagram, Etsy, and Facebook. I also have stickers that I print off myself uh, to put on the outside of the box sometimes, the outside of the actual product. I have right here, that's kind of my sizing label right there, on the bag. And then for like the sunflower dress, things I don't sell very often, I print off a card that just says thank you for your order. I do a personalized note on the inside. And then I do my inter uh, my information of the dress on the back. So sunflower tutu dress, what the material is, um, the care instructions, what size it is, and then if there's any other things like pattern by me. So let's go ahead and package up this guy right here. Okay. So I'm going to cover up this information here, but I add the thank you note and then my label to the box just so they know, and then put the postage label. I do get my labels through Etsy. 
because that's who my shop is through. If not, I use PayPal or sometimes the actual UPS, the United States Postal Service site itself. So I need my card for this, the thank you note, my product. <clears throat> I use silver, white, or purple tissue paper. Okay, so I don't always use purple paper. Sometimes I use gray or white. But I try to wrap the tissue paper around as gently as possible, almost like a Christmas present. Sorry about the noise. And then I use a sticker right in the middle to put it down. And then I usually just slide the thank you card right in here right into the fold. So, and this box is just a little bit too long. So I need to stuff some paper down in the bottom. And then I'm gonna slide my product in. And then put some paper up on top. And then go ahead and close the box. Let my tape go. If you're going to be packing up your own packages at home, I recommend that you get a scale to weigh. I just use a regular kitchen scale right now for my smaller pro objects and then the bigger ones usually weigh a lot more so I end up using just a regular uh, step on scale sometimes I have fragile products I do have fragile stickers also to put on some of these you just want to make sure that when they open it they're not going to be like wow they just threw it in here and it looks like junk so you want to take special care with them so let's go ahead and move over to packaging up the masks. So I have three masks right here that are going to the same person. I'm going to get my tissue paper. I usually only use one sheet because you're going to roll this over quite a few times. Just fold it up and roll it and then I'm gonna fold. so I look for the side with the crease and that's the way that I want to fold my paper inward because if you do it the other way then the the tabs get the crease on it and they start to fly around but that's just me that's <laughs> whatever way you find will work so and then I use my stickers So on this package, we're using the cards and the washi tape. So I always put, then what I do is I take a card, a little bit of washi tape, and then I just pin the card to the top here. Take it to the top there. All right, so that is the inside. Other than placing it in the bag, if it'll fit sideways, I'll fit it sideways. If not, then just slide it in there. And then fold it over. And then I just curl it under. Make sure you push all the air out. So, and then I have uh, a brown paper bag without any markings will work for something like this and then I try to see of course you're just gonna wrap this up the same as like a present this one I'm just going to regular tape the back
back is all sealed. I keep a little flap on my tape that I have to cut off. <laughs> so that I don't have to peel it every single time. Find the edge. So after that, I will I will wrap washi tape around it. And then put my brand. So and then I will print out the label and put it right there. So that is all I do for packaging my products. Um, it's not much. It doesn't take much. You shouldn't have to spend a fortune on customized boxes. If you get a good deal or something like that, then go for it. Um, for customized tissue paper, they make customized tissue paper, they make customized boxes, all that kind of stuff. But sometimes, um, just simple's better. So, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. And we'll see you later. Bye.